Welcome to the KASAT two-way installation video. First, verify that the contents of your two-way kit are complete. Please find the list on the instructions page. The transceiver or TRIA. The modem with Ethernet cable. Verify you have all the necessary tools for the installation. You can now start to assemble the antenna. Take the disc with A pointing upwards. Insert a coach bolt through the disc and secure the elevation azimuth head with a washer, split washer and nut. Now, secure the plate and head with four coach bolts and washers and nuts as shown. Spin the head so that the notch is at 90 degrees, then tighten all four nuts. Take the identical mask clamps and position as shown. Use flange nuts for the mask clamps. The next stage is to secure the antenna to the elevation azimuth head with five coach bolts and five flange nuts. Tighten all five nuts and be very careful not to deform the dish in any way. Now, construct the two arms by first securing the TRIA support plate with four long coach bolt washers and split washers with normal nuts. Make sure that the threaded holes at the other end of the arms are in the correct position for the threaded holes on the elevation and azimuth head. The yellow warning sign gives a good indication on one arm. Here are some examples of available masts. Please choose as strong a mast as possible, for example, with a 60 mm diameter tube. The mast should be secured with at least four M8 raw bolts or four M8 bolts with plastic sleeves, depending on the type of wall. Weight loading for non-penetrating mounts should be according to local conditions. The antenna weighs over 14 kilos when complete, so we recommend installing it in two parts. First, mount the dish on the mast, then secure in place with the mast clamps. Now, slot the two arms into place as shown. Fix the arm securely in place with four short bolts and washers. To secure the earth cable supplied, Bolt one end to the azimuth and elevation head with a serrated washer scoring the paint. This scoring allows a connection to the metal and therefore a good bond.
For exterior connectors, always use compression connectors if possible. Strip away the inner and outer insulation to expose the center pin and dielectric. Make sure there's no connection between the shield and the center pin. Push on the compression connector so that the dielectric is flush with the bezel part of the connector. Cut the center pin about 3 mm above the connector. Ensure there's no earthing tress touching the center pin. Then compress the connector. Normally, the installation would be on a wall, but to facilitate the filming, we've installed the system on the ground. We will now locate the satellite with the first pointing procedure. Install the KU pointing tool with easy-to-use Velcro, then connect to the analyzer. Now enter the correct frequency and voltage to select a suitable carrier on 9 degrees east. In this case, we've chosen the Akiva carrier on vertical high. Ensure that both vertical locking nuts are loose and adjust the elevation to the value indicated by the KA SatFinder application which in this case is 32 degrees. Then, using your compass, find the azimuth angle and loosen the mast clamps. Adjust your antenna until you've maximized the 9 degrees east KU signal on your analyzer, then lock off the mask clamps. Now, take off the KU pointing tool and mount the tria in position with four screws and split washers. Connect the earth cable to the tria as shown. Connect the coaxial cable to the TX port of the tria and tighten with a spanner to ensure waterproofing.